this transition or decarbonization cannot result in deindustrialization. In the current system today, we get fossil fuels, we import them and we burn them straight away and then we get some more. With battery metals, it's completely different. Once we have these metals in Europe, we actually build things with them that last for a long time. And once they come to the end of life, we can actually recycle them continuously. So the first opportunity is really to build this circular system around the metals and do things like metals processing or clean tech manufacturing in a low carbon and clean way. The first challenge we need to be aware is whether or not this metals transition will be better and cleaner than the previous metals industries. Will we do waste disposal in a different way, in a safer way? Will communities be on board? A lot of these questions will depend on the policies and measures that governments take to date. The second important challenge to raise is also that this transition or decarbonization cannot result in deindustrialization. We need to make sure that people get jobs from these new industries. We need a European climate investment plan so that actually this helps workers, for example, to transition and acquire new skills. What we also need is a clear strategy in Europe to go for small and efficient electric cars. We need some sort of environmental rules for electric vehicles and new incentives such as social leasing in France to really make sure that everyone across our society has access to the new mobility solutions such as electric vehicles. Vehicles.